Next question is from More Life. Is there a certain number of pull-ups or chin-ups you consider to be a good marker of strength? I think if a guy can do 15, 10. well, 10 15. to 15, I was going to say 15, yeah. but 10 to 15, you're strong. And for a woman, uh, around five uh, pull-ups, you're doing pretty well. Now, here's a problem with giving these general uh, answers is that there's a lot of factors that that uh, can come into play here. You, are, if you're a bigger person, it's going to be much harder. You know, if, you're, right. if I'm talking about a 240-pound athlete, Male, 15 pull-ups, wow, that's a lot of pull-ups to be that heavy. You know, if yeah. you're a 150-pound guy, 15 pull-ups might not be that much at all. But I think generally speaking, if you're a guy, 10 to 15 is a good number to aim for, and for a woman, uh, about five. Yeah, this is such a hard one to answer, because I think it's somebody like, uh, uh, what's his name with, with Kabuki Strength? I forget his name all the time. What's his name? Chris Duffin. Chris Duffin, thank you. Watching that dude do pull-ups is so impressive to me because he's a beat. What is he like, two hundred seventy pounds or something? Yeah, he does everything. Or impressive. Robert Oberst. Remember when he did that? Yeah, first or strong? Robert Oberst. Like yeah. that is. So, and then you have someone like David Goggins who can do like a thousand. Yeah, 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 I'm less impressed. You know what I'm saying? He's like a paperweight. You have two two <laughs> difference between those two people doing pull-ups is completely different. So yeah. it's it's hard to gauge what's a good number for the you know the general population. I mean. Uh, yeah, the five and ten thing, kind of, but I mean that completely changes based off that person's of, body weight. Of course, mm. and if and if you can't do, if you're a woman and you can't do not one pull up, and then you get to the point where you can do two, that's phenomenal. It's progress. Progress is what's most important. What's the most amount of pull ups you guys have ever done? By the way, twenty five. Twenty five for you. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. Twenty five yeah, yeah, is the most I ever, I ever did. You know, it was and that was focused too. Like I was. You were trying to. Get yeah. So I, I did this thing where I, I would do I've fifty. I do pull fifty pull ups to start every back workout. That was the thing because I wanted to get to a place where I could rep fifty. So you do however many sets it took. Yes. That's the old Arnold workout. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, Arnold did that. Yeah, I don't remember where I got it, but that was like the thing was where every every back workout start with pull ups. You get fifty, and I was trying to get fifty as fast as I could get fifty. So mm. I would jump up first set. I get you know maybe 12, 15, and then drop down, and then do again to ten, then to eight, and then keep doing it like that till I got to the fifty. And over time, I got to a place where I could rep out about twenty five of them, and I was good body weight. But that's something I noticed too is like where my body weight it makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Like well, yeah, th this brings up it's an interesting uh, I thing because of like standardization. Uh, I've seen too within. Um, I think it was like a sheriff's department. Uh, they they were were giving them grief about like lessening, like not even having this like standardized test uh, that they had to pass in order to uh, you know become become a sheriff. And and they wanted to to keep it because it's like you want somebody that's like able bodied and capable and strong and and can perform the job at the highest ability. But it was severely limiting uh, the amount of applicants that were applying. Uh, and so the you know the sheriff in charge was like uh, complaining about that they wanted to eliminate the test completely just because they have such low numbers of people wanting to to take on the job wow. see for that I, I have a different opinion on that like for something like that that makes sense to have this standard that you should have to be you able either to do. do the job or you can't or exactly because yeah. that, yeah. that well, general population and we're talking about like a client who just wants to be strong and mm -hmm. is trying to say oh you know oh, I heard on mind pump if I can't do 10 pull-ups I'm not very strong no it's terrible you know what I'm saying that doesn't matter and like it doesn't uh, and if it doesn't apply to your job every day then who gives a shit? You yeah. could potentially deadlift. I, I know plenty of people that can deadlift 500 pounds but can't even do 10 pull-ups. Right. Yeah. Is, is that person weak? No, they're not weak. No. They're just, they don't do pull-ups. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They don't, they don't strengthen that way. They haven't tried to lean their body out. So like, if your job requires it, though, I think it makes sense. If you're a firefighter, a cop, you have to climb a wall, you have to do something like that. Right? Yeah, you should probably be able Did to pull you, your you body weight up. Do it. Yeah. Speaking of sp standards, you guys remember uh, it was a while ago where I brought up that article where the I think it was a military. I remember what branch was going to change their standard for throwing a grenade distance because uh, people were not able to throw a grenade uh, at the at the standard distance or whatever. I thought that was had something to do with uh, like the women's like we, the women couldn't throw it as far as the men could throw it. Well, that, so they were trying to lower the standards. It for was some, but it was something like they had to lower it because so many people couldn't. All of a sudden, it was this old standard. People just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, which is kind of it was like across the board. It was well, like that's another kind of, example of like that should stay there. Yeah. You should have to be able to throw a grenade far enough to not blow your friends up. If you can't do that, you shouldn't be here with us. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what. I mean, it's yeah. pretty logical. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very logical. I don't care what sex you are. You. You need to be able to fucking throw this thing far enough so we don't die. <laughs> Just like toss it on the ground for any. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. most impressive. Uh, uh, Paul Check impressed the shit out of me with, with his pull up. Remember when he came here? He's like fifty one something arm. year old guy, and he's not like small. He's a muscular dude. He's a one arm pull ups out there. Yeah, like oh, you gotta be kidding uh, he's me. He's a beast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.